yo. You know I'm alive. What is going on you guys? It's your boy Ferg here back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video and in today's video we are going to be discussing the brand new Season 3 patch notes. Now some of you guys may or may not have known that there were some patch notes that were released to the public um, previously but they were leaked and nobody was sure if they were true so if you're wondering why I didn't make a video on that that's why but these are the official patch notes for Season 3 coming out I believe in January 16th around 7pm for GMT and 11 a.m. for PST. I believe if it's 7 p.m. for GMT, it will be around 3 a.m. for those in the Philippines and probably 2 to 3 a.m. for Indonesia. And then for countries like India, I believe it will be around 12.30 a.m. these patch notes will be released for you guys. So what we're going to do today is go through these patch notes with some gameplay going on in the background so that you have something to watch while we talk about these. And um, straight off the bat, we're going to be talking about ranked mode. You guys know my favorite mode inside of Call of Duty Mobile. Season 3 ranking will start after the update and will last from January 2020 to March 2020. Okay, seems about right. They usually last two to three months for the ranked season. New ranked rewards, including Black Ops 3 weapons, Python camo series, and more. So that means you're going to get camos for ranking up inside of the ranked mode, and you're also going to get weapons for ranking up. It's about damn time they added better ranked game mode rewards. I'm very happy about that, of course, because you guys know, play ranked all the time. Updated user interface. Sounds pretty good. If you guys don't know what that is, it basically means when you load out the game and go into ranked, it will have basically a different visual a different visual experience for you guys so it'll be different when you load up ranked and try and go into a game which is interesting and um, improved matchmaking balance it's about time they did this I think I see a lot of people complaining about like being master one going against legendaries because they have a master five in their team but it's only one master five versus a whole team of legendaries. so I guess that's fine increased penalty for a frequent quitting it's about time they added that as well because I know that people who don't play with a full five stack or a full five-man team often come against really good teams and their teammates actually back out when they start losing the game which is kind of annoying so I'm glad they introduced a better penalty for frequently quitting. I'm not sure what that will be. Reduced point deduction for losses below master. I mean, that makes sense. Um, I don't really, I'm not really down there in those kind of tiers, so I'm not really too sure how that is or how that will affect you guys who are below master. Like I said, like after the first day, I'm, I'm usually master or legendary, so I'm not too sure how that will affect it. Yep, they basically removed hijacked from ranked. I've been asking for this, man. They listened to me. They removed it. Let's go, dude. They removed hijacked from ranked multiplayer. It was about down time. If you guys didn't know, people would camp underneath the map in Team Deathmatch in ranked, and then they would also do the glitch where you could go underneath the map and use a, I believe it was a assault shield to capture B from underneath, which was super annoying. But thankfully, they removed hijack. Thank you for listening to me, Call of Duty. I really appreciate it. Domination single round scores adjusted to 75 instead of 50. This is awesome. I really like this. I like the fact that they're increasing the game time for ranked games because it, it allows for more comebacks. I mean, it allows for better storylines and games imagine you're like a hundred you're like 140 to like 70 and you'd make a massive comeback and win 150 to 149 like it, it just makes for a very very good storyline within games and stuff which is great for streaming and stuff and of course you guys know that i am coming back streaming pretty heavily as soon as i get back home i'll be home around i believe i'll be home around like 30 minutes to maybe like 10 minutes before this update actually drops so as soon as i get back into my house uh, home in ireland i'll be super tired but i'll make sure to make a video of me like doing and using all of this new stuff. Team Deathmatch score is adjusted to 50. It was previously 40. I mean, that makes sense. Team Deathmatches go way too fast. They're like two to three minute matches. There's a very low likelihood that you're going to make a comeback in Team Deathmatch just out of how quick they go. So I'm glad that they put it up to 50. And then the Battle Pass for Season 3 will start in January to February of 2020. That's interesting. So does that mean the Battle Passes will not correlate in line with the ranked season? Will those two things kind of differ from each other? from now on because the ranked season ends in March but the battle pass ends in February. To be honest I would actually like that. It would space out the game nicely so that there's always new content in the game rather than dropping a pile of content every couple of months. I would rather see it that they drop new content every week or every couple of weeks. That would be far better in my opinion. 
new premium and free battle pass rewards of course everyone already knew that wow the premium battle pass price has been lowered battle pass tiers have been reduced to 50 high value content has remained okay so they've basically taken out all of the kind of the sucky items the items that you don't want and they've basically condensed down all of the best items that you would want from the battle pass and put them into 50 tiers i'm not sure how this is going to turn out but i hopefully it does turn out pretty good new neon technology weapons only available for limited time period gorgeous neon special effects join in battle pass exclusively okay when this battle pass comes out i'm gonna buy the whole thing and um, as soon as i get back to my house i'm gonna buy the whole battle pass straight away and um, show you guys every single skin i'm just gonna go into a private match show you guys all the skins so that you guys can see what they look like in game and decide whether you want to purchase the battle pass i think it'll be pretty good honestly the neon i like neon stuff i like brightly colored things so this looks pretty good for me new limited time mode rapid fire i've seen a couple of gameplays of rapid fire it looks okay and um, i haven't actually played it myself i'll probably play it and upload it onto my highlights channel when it gets released it's basically just a really fast version of team deathmatch is what i basically seen it as and then two new maps scrapyard and cage now we've covered both these maps in separate videos and they look absolutely amazing i'm actually really hyped to play cage and scrapyard they just look so good battle royale mode is also receiving some changes time and space have distorted and will soon reveal a new battle area new time limited battle royale mode 20 versus 20 fast paced objective based game mode that brings multiplayer mechanics to battle royale that's sick implementing like multiplayer mechanics to battle royale is a super super cool way to kind of merge the two scenes because obviously there's players that play only battle royale and there's players that play only multiplayer so having a mode where these people can come together and play against each other is pretty good also with the new battle area i'm probably going to play battle royale to see what that's like new vehicle two person motorcycle perfect for high speed assaults and escapes yeah i'm not really too fussed about the motorcycle to be honest smrs is removed and br sniper challenge okay that makes sense new battle royale class coming soon okay getting a new battle royale class for all you battle royale lovers out there general controls added three new sensitivity modes and shotgun firing in control settings okay shotgun firing in control settings i'm down combat the new operator skill aka the hive is coming of course i already made a video on that talking about that and then the new score streak the goliath is coming as well i expect that they're going to have some changes to the goliath i know it's still 900 points here on the uh, the patch notes board but hopefully they nerf it a little bit because it seemed to be very very good but maybe it was just because the gameplay we've seen was against bots i'm not sure and multiplayer improvements and optimizations return of takeoff and raid multiplayer maps it's about time they made those come back i haven't seen those in so long literally since season one we have not seen takeoff and raid which is that's been a long time man it's about time they brought back takeoff dude i remember playing takeoff against the hackers and stuff back in season one those were the days eh fixed wall geometry on certain maps not really too sure what that means added warning and death for leaving combat zone that's for that's interesting if you guys know if you like go to an area where you can walk through it just blocks you it's almost like an invisible wall does that mean that the invisible walls don't exist anymore and you can walk through them but you'll die in five seconds i'm not too sure what that means i hope that's what that means that would be pretty good increased damage taken from falls that's about right they need to do that i mean you basically take no damage falling at all added mechanism of climbing down the ladder okay smrs has been slightly reduced for movement speed lethal range and damage to score streaks that's about time the smrs needed a nerf i don't know about the damage to score streak nerf but everything else it needed nerfed adjusted shooting stability of the s36 reduced its performance in long dist brother the s36 is getting nerfed dude there's no way <laughs> wow rip the s36 not gonna lie a slightly reduced recoil stability of the type 25 with the four grip attachment and also the ak117 four grip attachment that's not good i like those two guns that's a rip i'm not gonna lie that's that's gonna be a big rip for me i'm probably gonna go be looking for uh, separate guns now like the bk57 i'll be looking into it seeing how good it is and then reduced msmc magazine capacity to 25 it was originally 30 damn dude they're really nerfing all the guns that everyone used uses s36 is getting nerfed type 25 ak117 msmc is getting nerfed every single one of those guns were in my top five list of the best guns for season two they nerfed four out of the five guns the only gun they didn't nerf out of my top five list was the arctic 50 slightly increased recoil stability of icr foregrip attachment oh okay i mean nobody used to see icr anyway so it's whatever increased recoil control of the ak47 boy let's go dude this gun's gonna be fire it's gonna be really really good coming into the start of season three you're probably gonna see me use it a lot it'll probably be one of the new best guns when it releases increased firing stability and animations of the lk24 asm10 and hd40 those guns are pretty bad and um, apart from maybe the lk24 is kind of balanced but the other ones hd40 is like they're all good for public matches you know they're all great guns for using in public matches but other than that not really too much of a fan deploying transform shield releases a high pressure air blast that affects incoming bullet trajectory that's cool because they added like a flashbang and now they're adding a air blast it's about damn time they gave the transform shield another buff because it's kind of terrible 
helpful right now. Grab spikes give temporary increased armor effect. Okay, so when you use a gravity spike and you're up in the air, you get more health. That seems about right. It makes sense because gravity spikes kind of suck. You significantly re reduce the charge time of gravity spikes and increase energy return. But dude, everything that I've talked about in this game that needs to be changed is literally getting changed. Like I said that the gravity spikes needed a buff with like reduced charge time. They did that. I've called out four of the guns right there that are getting nerfed because they were the top five guns in the game and they're all getting nerfed. Rip that, dude. And the SMRS is getting nerfed too. That was the honorable mention. So five out of the guns that I have said that are re really good are all getting nerfed. That is crazy, dude. What the heck? And then obviously we said about the Team Deathmatch 50 and ranked. I said that needed to be, what the heck? Dude, they must watch my videos or something. <laughs> Increased energy usage of Sparrow Operator skill. Okay, so every time you shoot a bullet of the Sparrow, you will lose more of the Sparrow remaining, which makes sense because the Sparrow is still the best um, Operator skill in the game. Improved both standard and fast grenade throwing speed. I didn't even know you could do fast grenade. Well, I did, but it's not really like, I don't know, dude. Fast grenades, meh, it's meh. Additional improvements. Okay, we don't know what the additional improvements are. That's fine. Now talking about Battle Royale, improved shipment and countdown location layouts. I'm surprised they haven't added shipment and countdown to the multiplayer map because those maps were actually from Call of Duty 4 back over a decade ago. So they should add them into multiplayer as well. Improved sound effects, added additional strategic zip lines. Okay, that's pretty cool. Increased damage drop offs of, of SMRS at longer ranges. Okay, that makes sense. They were just movement speed while actively using. Dude, the SMRS is getting absolutely bodied. This gun is going to be no more, or this rocket launcher is going to be no more. It's about damn time. It's super annoying. Improve helicopter collision mechanics with environment. Oh, okay. Airdrops always contain level three body armor. That's about right. I remember when I used to play Battle Royale in the beta, you would never get armor out of um, airdrops. So now that you get level three, that's pretty good. Slightly increased strength of controller aim assist on multiplayer in Battle Royale. Okay. Well, controller doesn't play against mobile, so I'm fine with that. Multiplayer after action report UI improvements for final scores and team MVPs. That makes sense. A lot of people complain about why they didn't get an MVP. Improved experience bonus from certain modes. Okay, that makes sense. Reporting cheaters may generate a follow-up on actions taken. It's about time. I'm just kidding. See, to be honest, I haven't seen a lot of hackers recently, so fair enough. Fallen players can ping teammates to retrieve or use dog tags in PR. Okay, that's cool. Primary and secondary weapons can be switched during match cooldown. Oh, okay. So like in between rounds of search and destroy, you can switch out guns and then you start running with that gun. That's good. Improved quick team up option in lobby. That's nice. As we are rolling out the new update, here are some of the events that will be ending early. Holiday cashback event ending on 10 p.m. January 16th. That makes sense. Man of War is ending on the same time. And then Redemption page is actually closing. It's basically already closed, to be honest. <laughs> Secret Shop is also closed as well. But yeah, there you go. There's all the patch notes coming in Season 3 for Call of Duty Mobile. See, to be honest, they have a bunch of really good patch notes in here. So I'm definitely excited to play some ranked inside of Season 3. And then, of course, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Battle Royale on my third channel in Season 3 as well just because I want to play different things other than ranked because, of course, I just grind multiplayer all the time. I'll still be staying up high in the leaderboards in ranked. I'm not sure how high I'll go, but I'll definitely stay high enough to where I'm just versing the best players in the world every time I play so that you guys get to see the best content. But I'm going to be playing Battle Royale here and there as well. Maybe I'll do like a Battle Royale stream and a multiplayer stream every single day. That would be pretty good. Definitely not going to do zombies, though. I mean, zombies, bro. It's it's kind of dead. It's kind of a dead game mode. I'm pretty disappointed with how that turned out. But either way, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you're excited about these new leaks or patch notes, they're not even leaks anymore. They are confirmed 100% by Garena Call of Duty Mobile. They'll be coming to Timmy Call of Duty Mobile again. Of course, Garena is a little bit better than Timmy in that way. They just kind of release stuff to the public so that we can see what's going on. But yeah, comment down below what you think about these patch notes. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on notifications if you want to be notified of when I upload a video. It's been your boy Ferg. And without further ado, let's roll the outro. Bye!